This is the snobby Susanna and her brother, Jelly Brains Jetson. They are both mini poodles, and I see them on an eight-week schedule. Susanna is very well-behaved for grooming, so she gets an adorable haircut. Jetson, on the other hand, well, that's another story. I bet you didn't know that the traditional poodle cut was not done just for fashion. They were bred to be water dogs, and they were traditionally shaved down to increase their speed in water, except for a few vital areas, including the chest and the joints, where the hair was left longer in order to keep them warm. Susanna has to wear a ponytail while I shave her paws to prevent her ear hair from getting in the way of the clipper and me shaving some chunks out of them. Using my thinning shears, I tidy up her pom-poms, and then I trim up her adorable fluffy jacket. Then using my curve shears, I round up her top knot. Poodles are very intelligent dogs, but I'm not exactly sure that Jetson got that memo. For maintenance purposes, and the fact that he has a much thicker coat than his sister, we shave his body down with a seven, and then I clip his nails. The most challenging part of grooming Jetson is shaving his paws. He really doesn't like it, and he tries to pull his leg away from me the entire time. I am doing my best to keep him as still as possible, because shaving his paws while he's moving like this can be dangerous, and I don't want to cut him. I have been doing him on a regular basis for several years, and you think he would get a little bit better for this like his sister Susie. Although he hates being groomed, he still runs into my shop very excited and tail wagging. Unlike other dogs, he still hasn't figured out where he is until the moment I put him in the bathtub. And he likes to give me a hard time when I trim his face. His owners like him to have a mustache. I sprayed them both down in our pumpkin spice latte cologne. And the snobby Susanna and Jelly Brains Jetson are all finished. <laughs>